Now you've probably seen there's a lot of train, like full-size <laughs> trains here on the table today um, and we've got a few interesting boxes behind <laughs> us as well for train sets. So of course we're going to be taking a look at a few train sets here. Now we're on the run up to Quis Cr Christmas? Christmas now as well. So a lot of you are probably going to be buying presents or maybe even buying something for yourself for the, <laughs> for the big day going up uh, next month. So we've picked out a few of our favourite train sets here and we've got one which has just arrived back in stock from Hornby which is the Eurostar train set This here. really is one of the anticipated train set releases of the year with it being the Eurostar as well this is the trans country shall we say transcontinental transcontinental say? almost yeah that works from the UK into France into Belgium as well they've been running for quite a while now but they really have been picked out in that modern livery there and this is the full pack you get the four car unit you get the track controller there as well you do get a siding for use as well it all comes as one pack and that's 126 pounds to start off with as well so for a full-size train set with a high-speed train in it too it really is a great price to get started at. It really is. And it's not just an oval track you get in this one. You do get a track back A included with this as well. So you do get a little bit of operational difference. Perhaps you've got some other trains on your layout as well. So you can actually have the siding there. You do get included a track mat as well and some other bits of information. And of course you get your latest version of the Hornby DC controller to go with it as well. Uh, I think you do get a couple of other little bits and bobs like a buffer stop and a re-railer as well in the box, which is really nice little additions and just handy things to help you out when you get started. But the model itself, it is great for 126 it is. pounds, isn't it? Because you are getting a four car EMU and it is picked out in this livery, which is very crisp. It's been really hard to get hold of for the last few years, actually, since they last released this set a number of years ago. So a lot of people have been waiting in anticipation to build up their Eurostar trains again for the layout. And the model does have a lot of detail as well. It has deposable pantographs on either end, you see here. It does have working forward lights as well and an interior. And also, the it's going to be a bit hard to show you, I'm afraid, but it's certainly I'll give you a hand to here. see. Oh, there we go. You can see the articulated coaches in the middle there as well which is something quite unusual on a UK train, but they've managed to really get that perfect on the model. I think this as is, well. it's one of the only EMUs in the UK that has that articulation, isn't it? I, I think, can't think of many. But I think perhaps some of the new trains that are coming in yeah. to, I think it might be Greater Anglia or somewhere might have that, but it's certainly still very rare. And it was at the time the only one that had that feature, but it just, it's a very striking look, isn't it? And it really is something different. But as you touched on, you've got your postal pantographs there and they both pop up. So there's two different, there's, there are actually two different looking pantographs as well, aren't they? So they've actually tooled those yeah. up properly there. And delivery application is, it's what you first notice, I think, with this model. It's its a, like we've touched on with a few of Hornby's other releases recently, um, slightly more bargain or the railroad range uh, items that we've had coming through. It's one of the more classic items, but they've really brought it to life with one of the new liveries. So this is the livery that's worn from about 2014, 2014 yeah. onwards, isn't it? And it does really set the model off with that quite distinctive and strong blue colour with the grey as well. Hornby's got quite a name now for the finesse of their finish on models as well with the vibrancy of the colours and the amount of really finely printed detailing there as well. So you can see there on the packaging as well everything that's included with the set. And of course that's not the end of the Eurostar as well because you can buy the unit individually there, the four car unit and also the extension coach pack as well. Now, both of those are available to pre-order right now and available in January, we've been told. But if you do want a Eurostar before then, or you want something a little more modern going around the bottom of your Christmas tree, the Eurostar train set is available to order right now. So have a look at that link. That's it. I've, just, I've, I've been looking at this a little corner of my eye while you were talking there. And it's something that quite impresses me is there's actually quite a nice level of interior detail in here. Yes. Obviously, we won't be able to show you that quite on the camera just yet, but you've got all the tables in there, the seating, and it, it looks quite busy inside, yeah. which is quite nice because on a lot of slightly more bargain price models, uh, quite often the, there might be less interior detail or you might have the black painted windows so that you can't quite see inside. But I think it just looks really good. It really sets off that model and it makes it look like a busy train that's on its way to on its way to France or Belgium or Amsterdam or whatever. Fully agree. And these units operate at about up to 16 different vehicles in real life as well. But even in the length of a four car unit, you still get the the look of the Eurostar yeah. as well. It's just the right amount to get it on a train set, but also to really get the effects of it there as well. But you can order the additional coaches, but even as a four set, to me, it's got that Eurostar feel to it. 
And especially if you're picking this up as a Christmas present or you are just getting started off in modern railways and you're not looking for something, uh, you might not have the space to run a, a 18 coach train <laughs> or whatever it is. Um, this is, it, it, like Dave says, it's perfect and it does still have that status and a bit of, yeah. um, it, it does have an effect to it really so it does look fantastic this set and it comes from other Hornby Express sets that we've seen in the past obviously they were quite uh, popular with the Pendolino sets that they produced yes. and other HST train sets and things like that so it is just nice to see another Express train set in the range because um, it's been a little while since we've had one let alone Eurostar but other Express sets such as this it is indeed and over the next month we are expecting the Great Western Railway high-speed train set as well so couple missing for a little while but actually two really nice full complete express train sets available pretty much at the same time that's it and it's like we said again it's these classic models but getting reinvigorated with these fantastic crisp intricate new liveries yes. on there and the hst will be the same with that very vibrant green gwr scheme on there which we're excited to see as well but that'll be coming through soon the Eurostar is available right now. I've just seen in the corner eye, we've got SLD51 in the chat and he's asking when this one will be available. This is here right now, so you can get your hands on this whenever you want. And as Dave said, the individual trains uh, will be available in the new year. But it is available to pre-order the, uh, the individual trains right now. But check out that link in the description because you can have one of the sets today. Something, I'm, again, I'm just looking at the corner of my eye here. It's something I've always loved with the Hornby train set boxes. It's something that just gets me a bit excited is the artwork on the front of them. Yes. It's always something that's been a big uh, selling point for these train sets. They look great on the store shelves. Um, of course, you've got really epic image of the Eurostar coming straight mm -hmm. out of you. It's got that speed and finesse there. You've got the Eiffel Tower in the background, just giving you a bit of an indication of where they operate. And you've even got a nice little map here that indicates the different destinations that it does operate to. So you've got... Um, from London down to Ashford and Ebbsfleet, and then obviously once it crosses over into Calais, Brussels, Disneyland, Paris, all of these great destinations. So I, it's something we don't always touch on is the actual packaging of the items. No, and a lot of part. people do buy um, the models to have them as a collectible. So I, I do quite enjoy the, uh, the Hornby train set boxes. It's almost as if you've got a use for the box to display it while you're using the train set as well. So double, Might as well make the double most of purpose. It. Might as well make the most, certainly. But that's not the only train set we've got here today, actually. We did want to show a lot of the variety, what is available for you to get started. Christmas is a great time to get started in the hobby because you can start it off under the Christmas tree. Absolutely. But then you can really pick some pick some bargains up heading into January and the new year as well. A lot of new product announcements happen in the winter period too, so you can get some real inspiration coming through from a lot of the manufacturers and ourselves as well. That's it. And if you are just getting started, it's a great way to have something there ready. And then it's just waiting to get built on and really, really get your is. adventure going as well. So it's the perfect place to start really. But we've got a few more here on the we table. Have. So which one do you want to talk about next, Dave? Oh, I'll let you have that choice. Let's go with Harry Potter, come Works on. Works for me. It's it, classic films, and it's a classic train set item as well, so it's something that's always been desirable. And this is another set that you do get the complete package with. You don't only get the controller and the track, but you do get the Hogwarts Express locomotive there, and the 5972, but also two coaches to go with it. And this is a fully detailed model, actually. This is Hornby's Hall locomotive, which has been painted in the colour scheme used in the films as well so it is the actual locomotive you can see the full level of detail on the valve gear there as well as the rest of the locomotive and the two mark ones it's pulling were the ones used in the film as well it really is a high detail loco this one it really is quite impressive you can see from some of the close-up shots there you've got all the rivet detail on there really intricate livery application you've got a full cab interior sprung buffers the work really so this isn't you know this isn't your cheap a small train set really this is quite a nice model it's quite an intricate detailed set you're going to get here so if you are a true potter fan you can't be without this one really and it's another one that looks great around the bottom of the christmas tree as well it is indeed and there's a lot of expansion opportunities there with the additional coaches available on a lot of the buildings too from hogsmeade station so there's some great opportunities to start off a harry potter train set or one thing with train sets as well is even if you've got a layout already they're great just to get the parts to expand the layout because you do get track that can be used you get an additional controller if you already have one you get some great new stock in some really vibrant new colors as well so even if you've already hit the ground running with your model railway or you've got quite an extensive collection you can buy the set and use all the different parts around your layout that's already on the go that's it you don't just have to use it the way it's intended i suppose do you it's a great point that really because sometimes as well um, these train sets, it's actually quite cost effective to buy it because you're getting everything yeah. in one box that way. So it can actually work out a bit cheaper buying it all together 
and might buy just several train sets and then you might if, be able to find you for your separate controllers or something like that elsewhere. That set gives you a lot of opportunities then, doesn't it, really? But yeah, heading back to the uh, Hogwarts Express here, it is a fantastic loco, but it's not just the loco. We've got these lovely Mark 1 coaches as well, which are fitted out in the proper Hogwarts Railways livery. And you do get a brake coach and a TSO there as well, but they are fantastic. There's a lot of detail there. It's Hornby's proper full fat mark one this isn't it it so. is and hornby tooled this up about three or four years ago now and it is the same as the main range models so you've got the full metal wheels there as well you've got the commonwealth bogey detail you've got nem couplings as well on the ends full compartment interior there i mean you could fit that out with some of the figurines if Absolutely, you wanted to yeah. recreate a mini scene from the film but the coaches are full of detail and again as we mentioned on the year of study the level of printing goes right down to the hogwarts railways logo on the side there as well so it is a full detail pack and for people who do want to add it to a current layout as well both the hogwarts castle and the eurostar are digital ready as well so you can improve them or fit them out with full digital or sound capability yeah. as well so it's not just for new starters you really can add these to a already established collection and as you mentioned with the eurostar as well and the hogwarts castle these are available separately from the train sets too so you can buy the hogwarts castle locomotive on its own and there is a sound fitted version of that one coming through as well which we're really excited to give a test out on our track um but if you didn't quite want to go for the train set you can buy that separately too and you can buy the coaches separately as you well you can which indeed is great. especially if you wanted to extend that train to a full prototypical hogwarts railways length if it is prototypical in any way <laughs> but <laughs> yeah that was but, in the film so it's <laughs> yeah like that, that counts that counts <laughs> But yeah, if you want to get any of these train sets that we're talking about right now, there are links down there in the description. You can find out all you need to know and purchase those today. The Eurostar comes in at just 126, as Dave said, and we've got the Hogwarts Express set for 180 pounds. And that's not forgetting our guy in the middle here as well, is that's it? That's it, the are true Christmas set here the in the middle. The true Christmas set. Now, this is designed to go around the bottom of a Christmas tree. The track is set up in that way that you do get with the set. And of course, you get the controller we've shown before as well. But what is the most standout thing here is on your screen at the moment. It's the diesel shunter locomotive and the two covered wagons there in this really vibrant Coca-Cola livery, matching the actual lorries that go around the world on tours just before Christmas time. We featured this one a few times before, and it's always had a really positive reception just for how striking the livery scheme on this and how it's a little bit different really to get um, a shunting train set in a sense um, and people have actually been coming to us with ideas of what they would actually do with this on a proper layout as well so I know we talked about in the past some guys had ideas for Coca-Cola bottling plants that you can make with this but as you said it's true I'd almost say it's true home is around the bottom of the Christmas tree isn't it it really is perfect for that duty and you just can't help but hear the uh, the song playing through your head when it's going around there, can't you? It's uh, certainly coming into mind right now. And it really does have that capability there as well. It's quite a decent locomotive to start off with as well. It's got a great haulage capacity, so it's more than capable of handling the two wagons in the pack. And of course, if you really do want to expand your collection, there are further wagons in the Coca-Cola livery available to order now as well. There's tank wagons too that are coming through. And even with those on the back as well, this locomotive will handle all those vehicles on a layout. So it really looked nice around the bottom of a Christmas tree. Something standing out and different there as well in that Coca-Cola livery. A little bit less traditional than the steam locomotive going around, but still really has a lot of character to it as well. Really packs an impact, this one. And it has been a really popular sell since we got this in a few months ago. And really, that's in part to the price. This is £72 yeah. pounds that this comes in at. For a full train, lovely hard work and shunter, as you mentioned there, with great haulage capacity. You've got your full looper track perfect for around the Christmas tree as you mentioned or on a tabletop or wherever yeah. you want to put it and a controller and everything else you need to get started and again like I mentioned before lovely box with your great artwork on it as well <laughs> and it really is easy to get started with a set like that as well with all the track in there it is a case of slotting the track together and no real tough skills required to be honest with you you don't need to it's know any, play, any really. soldering skills it is plug and play so if you are tempted to get into the hobby if you're watching the platform one for the first time and thinking this hobby's for you this is a really great place to get started because you can just open the box and put the bits together and have a railway running in a couple of minutes that's it and again if you want to get your hands on one of these there are some left in stock so do hit that link in yes. the description and you can see everything you need to know about it and get one on order as well but we've actually got a few more that we can show you here, but we couldn't actually fit them on the table because we've just got so much here. We've 
crammed in the boxes behind us and everything. So we've got, of course, Formby's Family Fun Project, which they recently launched at Hatton's. Now this is available now for 180 pounds and we've been talking about everything you need to get started. Now this really is everything you need to get started. You get a huge box full of stuff, as you can see here. Um, it's everything you need, isn't it? There is absolutely no stone left unturned with this set. The only part you need is a bit of baseboard or a tabletop to put it on. Otherwise, the whole lot is included. You get your locomotive, you get your wagons, you get your controller, but also you get a lot of the scenery ready to go as well. You get a lot of buildings there. You get various different bits of ballast and trees and people and cars and scenes there too. And also a huge instruction manual which tells oh, you yeah. how to get it all started and Great how to go together as well. So if you really fancy the whole package there and you want a proper layout from the get-go with buildings and the full scenery, the works essentially, this really is the one to look at because the price is really slashed down from all the individual item prices as well. I think it works out at about two thirds of the price if Absolutely, you bought all yeah. the pieces separately. So it's a great bargain way to get up with a really serious layout to start off on. That's it. And if that's not enough for you, <laughs> there actually are expansion packs for this set. So if you find that you've got it all built, you're excited about, um, maybe you are doing it as, as a family project, getting everyone involved, yeah. getting the kids involved or whatever, it, you can actually make it even bigger. So there are ex expansion pack one, as you can see on the screen right now, this will start flicking through. This comes with, I uh, believe, uh, another locomotive in there, some more rolling stock, more buildings, more track, more scenery just everything. So you can get some different trains running on there and really get that starting to extend. And then you've got expansion pack two as well, which again, it just features some more um, items in there for you. So you can really start to develop your set and build a full model railway for yourself. There's some really great options there as well. And as ever with model railways is you don't have to follow the rules in how you set them up. There is a recommended way and to get the absolute most out of them. But at the same time, as they say in the films, the limit is your imagination, oh, really. Yeah. If you wanted to lay it in a certain way and you had the bits there to do it, you, you go for it. You know, it's that's the best part about the family fun sets there is you do get every piece so you can really start your imagination firing from the get-go with all those different individual cameos and people and buildings and trees. You can set it up as you wish. And from what we've seen so far from people who've bought them, there really is some variety and it shows just how different you can make things look if you all start with the same pieces as well. That's it. It gives you everything you need to get started. It gives you all the knowledge with the handy guide as well. But the limit really is your imagination. You can yeah. go wherever you want to with this. And when you've started to really develop your, your model railway and you're really getting further with it, get onto hattons.co.uk and you can buy even more for your layouts. There's, the world is your oyster, really. There's really just so is. much out there to get started with. Right, we've got a lot of comments coming in here about the train set. So we've got um, SLD51. Oh, we talked about that before with the Euro Star train set coming in. Uh, James Akers says, Greater Anglia do have some similar locos to the Eurostar. Uh, that's the ones I was thinking of. I the thought it might have the been. The 745s and the 755s that are running along the Bitten line have got articulation in them, apparently. They have indeed. They're the Stadler units, I believe. Yes. Those just been introduced. That interesting um, tiny centre car bit with all the uh, mechanics in it. That's, yes. It's very interesting. Uh, we've got Robert Scott, Wyvern Junction, says, is the Eurostar model part of the railroad range? It's not actually, it is part of the full super detail range as well. So the model in the train set and coming separately as the train pack does have the really f finesse of the printing in there as well, but optional, sorry, optional, operational light, should I say there, and digital in capacity as well. Brilliant. Um, we've got David S says he's waiting on the R1236 set. Right, Which okay, is, yes. Actually. Now, I think that's one of the ones that's going to be coming a little later in the year. That We've been promised a couple more just before Christmas. We've just had the industrial freight set within the last few days, and we're expecting the Great Western high-speed train set, as long as a couple, as well as a couple of others, over the next few weeks or so. Brilliant. Uh, we've got Sammy B Films, says the Hornby Sovereign packs look really good too. That's another one that we uh, can touch on actually. We've got an example of one here, which is the Welshman set. Now, the Hornby Sovereign packs are almost designed as a a more higher end pack for um, people who are looking for a little bit um, a little bit more detail. So you get one of Hornby's really super detailed locos, you get four coaches in there as well, but you're still getting your track. And you're also getting a HM2000 controller, which just offers a little bit more operational flexibility than the standard controller. And you do get the book with a lot of track plans in there too. 
this really is for if you're building a, a real main line of a layout, more of a, a loft layout or something along those lines, and you are getting started quite seriously in the hobby, so to speak, really. So it gives you a great set of highly detailed locomotives and rolling stock to begin with there. And we do have a range of the sovereign sets available to order on our site at the moment. Again, as with the other train sets, they are cheaper to buy in the packs than they are if you bought the individual components as well. So do take a look at that link in the description and you will find more details about those there. That's it, these really are perfect for if, like we said before, it can often work out better to buy uh, multiple train sets to get all the stuff you need to go. It might also be good if you're someone who's been involved in a hobby in the past and you've maybe had some time off for it and come back, but you want something that's a yeah. little bit more uh, detailed. So these train sets really do fill that, that part of the market really. Um, we've got Southway 1943 and he says, on the Hogwarts Express, where would the sound speaker and chip go? Is it in the tender or is it in the engine? On the locomotive that's being provided by Hornby, pre-fitted, the sound decoder and the speaker are going to be in the tender. Brilliant. Um, we've got Southway 1943 again and he says he's going to be purchasing the Coca-Cola train set next week from us. So I do hope you enjoy that once it arrives. Fantastic. Let us know what you get up to with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got Bluegrass Railfan says Amtrak recently did an ACS 64 loco in a Coca-Cola scheme and Hornby was ahead of the curve in that way he thinks may so. well be yeah Hornby just beat them to the punch with putting a diesel in that livery there I think but I think so, yeah. who knows may have been one before <laughs> um, we've got Sammy B Film says the family fun project looks really fun and it's a great idea from Hornby there's a lot more details on the exact contents on, that, on our website as well so do check out that link and there's a lot more detail for you to see and an interesting point here from SLD51, he says, do we know that there are actually Coca-Cola U18A containers in Japan? No, that's I did not know me, that. Does it carry Coca-Cola? You can buy a Coca-Cola container as part of the Oxford Diecast range as well, so I'd be interested to see just how authentic that is, but that's... That's one we'll have to do a little bit of research on I think, that, I think. I'll be looking that up after the show, I think. <laughs> I'll, you've, you've piqued my interest there. Thank you very much for that one. 